Hi there, this is Dr. Falcon, and today I want to talk a little bit about the Krups GVX1 14 Conical Burr Grinder. Uh, it's made by Krups and is available at a lot of different places. Uh, the MSRP on this grinder is $72. You should never ever pay that much. It's available pretty much all day long uh, at Amazon.com and similar e-tailers for under $50. I actually got mine at Costco for $49. So. Um, at that price point, it was very similar to the Black & Decker grinder, which is in the foreground here, I'm sorry, the background, and um, the Krups GVX1 turned out to be a much better grinder for the following reasons. Uh, number one is that the grind mechanism, the, the burr grinder in this particular unit, is really pretty good. I would rank it close to the um, Solus Maestro grinder that I used to have before I bought the Black & Decker. Um, that grinder was about $170 when, when it was purchased. Um, the Krups offers 17 different um, coarseness, uh, fineness settings here, all the way from super coarse for maybe a Turkish, or I use it for a New Orleans style cold press brewing, all the way to fine, which you might use for espresso. Uh, I don't use that fine of a grind. I normally stop either dead center or a little bit more coarse because we do have the uh, the bun automatic drip for most of our coffee use. But anyway, if you if you have different ways of making coffee, that may be of importance to you. We will only probably use about half of the settings, but like I said, that might be more important to you than um, some other units with not as many settings. Um, another key cool feature of the Krups GVX1 is that um, it has sort of a built-in timer to grind a certain number of cups of coffee grounds. So um, two is the very minimum, 12 is the max, we all know that the golden ratio for making coffee in a drip machine is 10. You should always make 10 cups of coffee through a drip machine. So that's always where I leave it. Um, I do have a leftover Dunkin' Donuts um, glass container where I keep our coffee grounds. So we typically do two or three runs at a time and burn them up throughout the day. The coffee um, catch box holds eight ounces of coffee. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this particular unit is this little lid comes off and uh, this is where things get messy. In contrast to the Black & Decker unit and also the Solus unit, this Crux unit doesn't spray a lot of grounds around. So as it grinds your coffee up for you, it stays um, pretty clean until you take this off. And you pretty much have to take this lid off in order to put your coffee in a container of some kind or directly into a filter. Um, this slides in and has to click all the way in. And this hopper holds something like, um, I think it holds almost a cup full of beans. I measured out earlier and then I forgot. There's a max line indicator here. Um, it's not an ideal design for this because the grinder seems tilted. I always fill the front part of the hopper before the back part gets full and the, um, the grind um, funnel itself is offset. So it's not super useful to use this max line. I just typically put in um, well, I guess I can tell you. I put in three quarters of a cup. So I use a quarter cup measuring spoon. I put in three of those. So it's three quarters of a cup and then I just grind it up. One of the things I don't like about this unit is that the hopper cover is difficult to put on all the way. At least it's been so far and it has to be pretty far down in order for the unit to run. Unfortunately, there's no um, audible feedback or tactile feedback to make sure it's down all the way. You just sort of, like, is that on all the way? I don't know. So I wind up putting a lot of weight and pressure on this hopper lid, which I don't particularly care for. Um, let's see, anything else here? The power button, I'm gonna turn this on in a second so you can hear the unit grind and also watch it. The base of this unit is fairly um, well weighted. That's actually a pretty important feature for any of these conical burr grinders because they're very powerful. And if they're not well weighted, then the grinder will move. And if you've seen my review of the Black & Decker Conical Burr Grinder, it's not weighted at all, and that thing moves all over the counter and could actually fall off your counter if you're not careful. The Krups is not um, as well weighted or balanced as the Solus Maestro I owned, but again, it's um, a fifth as expensive, so you kind of have a trade-off there. All right, so we're going to find out if I put this hopper cover on all the way, and I'll turn it on for you, and I'm going to grind up 10 cups of beans. And this may or may not happen, but there's another drawback to this particular grinder, and I don't want to mention it until it happens. So we'll see if, see if it happens. 
Alright, so as you can see I turned it on, the light came on, but apparently I didn't have the lid pressed far enough. So the timer ground um, approximately 10 cups of coffee, which is kind of cool. And I don't know if you heard it as easily on the tape as I did in real life, but there are certain moments during the grind process where it sounded like uh, the grinder wasn't grinding anything. It reminds me a lot of shifting a motorcycle where I'll be cruising along and then engage the clutch and vroom, there you go. This is a common plaint against this unit. The GVX1 has about a three star average review on Amazon for I think 350 reviews um, as of this taping. And the problem with this unit is that it doesn't consistently reliably grind beans. Um, just now it managed to fix itself every time, but sometimes you sort of have to put the claw on it or the Vulcan uh, nerve pinch and just kind of shake it like a British nanny. And then the beans will fall back into the grinder and everything will be good. I've personally found that the more um, coarse grind you select, the less likely that is to happen. I don't know if that's entirely true or just my particular experience, but um, that is a drawback to this unit. However, given everything else, I think it's a great value. If you can find it at your local Costco for $39, I think that's a really good deal. Even if you buy it at Amazon for about 50, that's still about a half to a third is an equivalent grinder that's the next level up. Um, there are other grinders available in the $50 to $100 range, but I really don't know if you're getting anything other than looks or a different brand name um, compared to spending a lot of money starting at the Solus Maestro at about $150 to $175. So again, this is Dr. Falcon and my review of the Crops GVX114. Uh, the GVX2 is the exact same unit, except it has an aluminum, uh, fake aluminum brushed uh, housing, but it's mechanically identical. So if you're looking for that unit as well, this review still applies. I hope this answered any questions you may have about the unit, but please feel free to give um, leave comments in the feedback section. And thanks for watching.